Here at Learburg, we have the, uh, we'll call it a unique opportunity to see and sample a lot of different dog training products. Some we like, some we don't. And it's not every day that we're completely blown away and amazed by one of the products that we see. With that said, let me introduce the Keeper Collar Hidden Prong. Now, this is something that we felt was completely different than anything out there on the market. And while it's not only completely different, there is nothing spared as far as design, quality, and functionality. So I'm gonna dive right in and talk about a few of the features that we find amazing about these uh, Keeper Collars. Starting out with, they're really easy to take on and off versus your standard prong collar. So on a standard prong collar, as those of you watching this video probably already know, the way that you would put these on and off is by pinching the prong, pulling it apart, pinching the prong to push it back together. Not only does pinching the prongs to take them on and off eventually weaken the metal within that, some people may not have the dexterity or the strength in their fingers to easily put a prong collar on and off. Now, on the keeper collars, you don't have to do that. You simply use the buckle. They come in two different options, either a plastic buckle shown here, or we have the other option of the leather with the metal clasp. Something to mention about these clasps, well, they are plastic, and looking at pictures of them on a website or watching this video really does not do the quality of these plastic buckles justice. So these are heavy duty, they're top of the line clasps. You can see here that when squeezing them, they bounce right back. And if you compare this to a cheaper buckle, you can bend these tabs right over and break them off. These ones are not going to break. They're designed and built to last. So they use the best quality hardware and equipment on these collars. The keeper collars are built on the inside with a strip of nylon webbing then bands of elastic sewn around so that that can secure the prongs inside the collar. They then have a piece of rolled leather making up the flat collar portion with another nylon webbing strip sewn on the top of that to secure the plastic buckle or the leather strap if you're going with that option as well as a ring on the other side for your pull tab. The pull tab is what does the adjustments for sizing, which also brings me to the point of fitting the prong collars. Now, on your standard prong collar, the way that you would fit it is to either add or remove a link. This limits some dogs that may be in between one of those sizes because the links are about an inch long. So if your dog's neck is an odd size, you may not be able to get that perfect fit. And the perfect fit for a prong is riding high up on the dog's neck right at the base of the skull. These keeper collars are great because we sell them in two inch increments so you can purchase whichever collar best fits your dog and then by adjusting the length of the pull tab here, you can adjust how tight of a fit you have on your dog's neck. So if you get one that is a little bit smaller, you can adjust this down and have a larger collar or if you have one that's a little bit big, you can adjust this down this way to snug it up. This allows you to get the perfect fit for your dog. What it also does is it adds a whole nother level of safety. So as I said, you don't have to pinch the prongs to take them on and off. This also prevents the prongs from weakening. Now, we always recommend when using a prong collar that you use a backup collar. We say this because when you're pinching those collars on and off, eventually those prongs weaken and they're going to fail. They're going to come apart. And when they do fail, they fail when you need them most. They fail when your dog is dragging you down the leash, reacting towards another dog, whatever it is, you're trying to get control of your dog, the prong fails, now your dog is loose. So we always say use a backup so you have something else there to con uh, maintain control of your dog. With the keeper collar, you're never going to have that. One, you're not pinching the prongs, they're not getting loose, and two, there's no way that they could come apart. Even if they did, you still have the flat collar secured around your dog's neck and you still maintain positive control over your dog. So they add another level of safety. They're easy to put on and off. They're easy to adjust the sizing. Then the feature that is really the biggest part of these is the fact that they're completely camouflaged. So prong collars, because they have a we'll call it a menacing look. They look scary. 
they tend to get a bad rap because of this. And they get a bad rap because people are not properly educated on how to use a prong collar and how to use it safely. They've never seen the positive effects of this tool and what it can really do for your training and your dog. Prong collars are amazing tools when it comes to loose leash walking. And because of the bad rap that they get, people tend to get dirty looks. They get yelled at when they're out walking their dogs in busy areas by people that think that they know what they're talking about. Now let me preface this entire thing about prong collars by saying that the pinching that a prong collar does is not damaging to your dog. It's simply pinching the skin around the scruff of the neck. I'll put this one on and you can see that I have no problem putting a prong collar on myself, applying some pressure to it. I mean, you can see my voice change a little bit there. I can feel it pinching as it tightens, but it's different than wearing a flat collar and allowing your dog to pull into a flat collar, which can cause permanent damage. You can pull so hard into a flat collar that you actually collapse your dog's trachea. That is going to cause permanent damage to your dog. A prong collar, on the other hand, you get a pinching action, the dog feels pinching. As soon as the dog gives to the leash, that pinching is released, creating the perfect timing for adding pressure and removing pressure when teaching loose leash walking. So I only say that to try to uh, dispel a few myths. However, the myths are still out there. And people see that when you walk your dog in the park and someone comes up to you and tries to yell at you for being a bad dog owner because you're using this horrible product. One, it's not true. But if you want to uh, avoid getting in those encounters and having to try to educate people in the middle of your walk or just walk away, whatever you decide to do, this is a great option. They're virtually impossible to tell that it's a prong collar. You can see on Sunny here, my lab, he's a yellow lab wearing a green collar. You can barely, you, you can't tell. You really, to be all honest, you cannot tell that he's wearing a prong. So if you're tired of getting dirty looks for walking your dog on a prong collar, or you don't have the dexterity to easily take on and off a standard collar, or you just want to add that extra level of safety by having the leather flat collar around your prong, I recommend checking out the Keeper Collar Hidden Prongs. These are a great product, and as I said, there's nothing spared as far as quality, functionality, and design in these things. I mean, they really thought of everything here. So it's a great product and one that I'm happy to offer on our website and recommend to you.